it's Lisa and Jenny here from the Shady Tree Stitches. Hi! We've come to you with a special video to start off 2020 um, because people have been asking for it, how have I been doing the ice dyeing? So we're going to give you a quick walkthrough in live time, well we'll pause it while it's drying <laughs> and um, show you just how simple it is to actually do ice dyeing. Okay so first of all we've got the ingredients, obviously you've got your fabric, linen, even weave, whatever you want, Rit dyes in whatever colours you want and here I've just got those $2 shop plastic barbecue trays, a cake cooling rack um, and obviously ice. So step one, to make it go how I prepared earlier, you get your fabric and you need to just lightly wet your fabric and you want it scrunched up. So you scrunch it up and you pop it on the tray. This is just plain water, so you want it just to be a you know dampish. You scrunch it up however you you want it to be, trying to keep it as flat as possible. Some of the ones I've done before, I've left them folded to get a quite a geometrical pattern, but today I really don't want the geometrical pattern. So we have them on there, and the next thing you do is basically you get your ice. These guys are going to have that big block of ice. And you put your ice on top of the fabric. And you want to try and cover the fabric as much as possible with the ice. So it takes a little bit of time just to play with the ice. Get it so that it's actually going to sit. I just use the, the ice that I find from the petrol station. I don't particularly like this ice. I find it's very hard, very clunky. Okay, it's ice. It's inexpensive and I can buy it. In bulk. In bulk. Which is it's a lot easier than trying to make it with lots of little ice cube trays in the freezer. <laughs> yes. Well, I suppose you could do that if you wanted to. So you just want to make sure that you're going to get some ice that's going to melt across as much of the fabric as possible. Behave over here. Apart from wetting the fabric, do you have to do anything else to prepare? Um, I like to just do my edges, so around the edges, just because after this is finished, you give a wash, a hand wash, and it um, just helps to keep it. Um, stop it fraying a bit. Yeah, yep. but you don't have to. You can, you can do it however you want. So, Easy. My trays are a little bit small for my... My, my thing goes, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, I think we've pretty much got ice. If you want to zoom in, covering things. Don't stop it falling off. Gravity is not a friend. Alright, so then you get your rit dye. These ones here, I want to do as just a mottly sort of like an imitation tea dye I guess. So just cut off a little hole on the edge of the dies and you'll notice I'm wearing gloves. First time I dyed I didn't wear gloves and I'm never going to do that mistake again. So we just put a little sprinkling over the ice of the colour. If you want it deeper you put more I don't want a lot on that, so I think that'll probably do for my tan. And then I thought, well, watching brown fabric is pretty boring. <laughs> so we might do this one with a couple of different colours. These rip dyes I get from Spotlight, Lincraft, you can also buy them online um, in Australia. So 
I feel like some teal is a nice color. Now we've got three bits of fabric here. So I want to pour my, my color differently for each fabric. So this guy's going to be very teal. And these guys are just going to have a slight bit of teal. Because I like them to be different. And then, I don't know how anyone does tea dyeing to make it matte, like ice dyeing to make it match every time. This one's a green, so this guy over here is going to be my greeny one. It's giving me a lot of green. And a sprinkling. It's funny, that one looks more teal to me than the other one, but anyway. You'll yeah. find out when it colours. And then, because just for a contrast colour, I do like a contrast colour. Um, I did do rainbow multicolours previously, but these ones I'm just doing simply, and we've just got a bright yellow. That should just um, pick out the colour, I think, a little bit. So this guy over here. And there's some yellow. And there you have it. That is step one and two of the ice dyeing procedure. So now what we do is we go away and we wait for that ice to melt. And then we'll come back and show you then. Okay. So as you can see, the ice has been melting. This one has a lovely brown soup underneath it. And this one, so we've got some ice on here, has a couple of different colors. So we're gonna move to the next stage now, which is to go and wash them. So all I do is give them a rinse now. And this one, pull this one just to get rid of any excess dye. And I give them a little rinse first, and then I'm going to just give them a fill up the tub with a little bit of um, vinegar and the water and just give them a bit more of a, a little bit of a soak, a little bit of vinegar. Now I'm going to help the colour to set. Forty degrees for today, so it's um, good drying weather. Yeah. Interesting the colours that are coming out in this one. This one's got quite a few pinky reds in it. I wasn't going for pinky red, but anyway. <laughs> and this one's got the brown. Look at how red that bit is. Didn't put any red anywhere near it. Okay, so then. Squeeze out the excess water and we'll go and hang them out on the clothesline to dry. Okay, so they're all washed and hanging out on the line to dry. You can see how drought stricken our lawn is. Really bad, isn't it, Mr. Dudley? Yes. All right, I'll be back when they're dried, show you the finished product. That's as simple as it is. Okay, guys, so it's now dried and it is all ready to go. We have a couple of cute pieces. This is a cute little green one. It's a mixture of the green and yellow. I think that's pretty cute. We've got the one that was the green and the teal. And I really like the way we actually dipped it in the um, leftover ice, ice dyed water just to get it so that it wasn't any white left on it. And I've never done that before, so that was pretty cool. This one is my Australia Day piece. Green and gold. Green and gold for Australia. So really happy with them. They're a little bit more subtle than my previous ones. Now these two, it's just funny. I don't know what it is, and it's probably gonna look more red on the camera than it, it does in person. But the tan has come out looking a lot like red. So there we go. That's my one piece of linen. And I'm thinking that's my spare piece of linen. And I, I'm not really sure actually to tell you the truth now. I don't remember which one's which. But I think this is my whole crown hollow piece. Mm-hmm. So all I need to do is decide, well, do I like all the red or not? And whichever color, corner I don't like the most, I'll make that the one at the bottom right, because that's the um, full coverage piece. Yay. 
So there you go. Thank you, Jenny, for your assistance with the filming in particular and the dyeing. And hopefully now you guys can see that ice dyeing is really, really simple and quick to do. So have fun, experiment, and I'd love to hear how you go. Bye for now.